to raise kids with a covert narcissist is like you being every single day 10 steps ahead of them because every time they wake up they're looking for ways to undermine you hi guys welcome to co and narcissist 101 i'm kate thank you so much for joining me thank you for subscribing and if you haven't subscribed please do and don't forget to hit the bell so you know when i upload my videos okay today is going to be how to co-parent with the narcissist i believe this is part two um before we jump into it let's paint the scene here let's set, let's set up a scene so let's say this is um uh, let me, let's say last Christmas you uh, let the narcissist have the kids you know they're supposed to get them for a week and you you know they, you, you let them have you know let them have the kids for an extra two days out of your own t position time and that was last year right so you let them have two days of your time no problem uh, they didn't ask you they kind of scheduled their thing and it happened to have you know taking two days out of your own position time um, you didn't say anything um, fast forward this year so this year probably you this year you get to keep the kids for the Christmas you know so that is a sin as we go with today so let's go through the list of um, what is co-parenting or how it is to uh, co-parent with the narcissist so number one uh, there's not been a bigger person here okay there's no being a bigger person here every kind gesture you give to the narcissist is looked on as a weakness okay so let's look at the scene i set up now last year remember you didn't say anything when they took two or two days of your time during the christmas break with the kids no problem so this year you figured okay um i'll just i'm, I'm not gonna say anything um i'm not gonna uh, question them about it i'll just uh uh, leave it alone because you know you figure maybe this year you you know do um the same thing or maybe you decide not to do anything you know so you didn't you figured oh, okay they needed more time with the kids and you know you're cool with it you leave it alone is is a kind gesture on your own part um that is looked on by a narcissist as a weakness any kind thing you do is is a, a weakness that's how they look and of course this means that they're gonna uh, take an extra advantage of it let's go to the next one uh you are trying to reason your way out of it okay let's say the same scenario you know uh you trying to reason yourself out of it or trying to seek for logic where it doesn't exist which is what we have in this case so in this same scenario you're like okay maybe the, this is the you know the following year and you're like okay is your you know christmas break with the even the kids and now you want to schedule uh, uh, a longer period of time and of course because it took two days of your time the previous year you didn't find any reason why of course why not you can you can take two of days of their own time <laughs> this year and guess what now you and the narcissist, narcissist are arguing about this because they don't see why you should take two days of their time this year you know see not, not, they, don't, they don't remember the previous year that they took two days of your time possession time with the kids without accent and you didn't say anything you didn't complain about it that has gone away so now they're arguing a normal logical thing normal reasoning be like okay that's fine you know you take two days of my time this year no problem no there is no reasoning with the narcissist it, it, it doesn't make sense as you're trying to explain this it does not make sense to them all right let's go to the next one number three you having expectations you know you have to keep your expectations low let's go back to the scene again okay so now they took your time okay from the previous year two days of your time without telling you and you have the expectation that they're going to let you have two days of their time this year so you go ahead and make your make plans to include the extra two days you know maybe you book a flight or whatever make a reservation that includes those two days and expect that when it's time that they're going to provide the children you see that's not going to happen you know so you have to keep expectation low when it comes to these people because you see like in the previous one points they don't it, this doesn't make any sense to them that why do you want to take out take my time it doesn't it, it doesn't go that way because remember you are supposed to do their sacrifice and not them it's your job to sacrifice all the time that is not you know the rule doesn't apply to them you know so when you expect them <laughs> to do the right thing which is of course let you have the extra two days like you let them have the extra two days the previous year that's not going to happen so you keep your expectations low and make sure you have a plan b because once you have a plan b you expect less you're less disappointed you're less stressed you plan ahead you know don't expect them to do the right thing 
Okay, then jump into the next one. You maintain and enforce your boundaries. You maintain and enforce your boundaries. So let's say they took the kids like they did the previous year and you didn't say anything for those, you know, the extra two days, you know, you didn't say anything. And maybe the following year or the year after, every time they have them, they keep doing this. They don't ask any question. They don't let alert you ahead of time. You know, sometimes they even pick the kids earlier or drop them off, you know, uh, later than they're supposed to or earlier than they're supposed to you know pretty much they're trying to rearrange time you know according to however they see fit of course they're doing this to let you know that they can do what they want uh, because they don't believe that you're supposed to have any boundaries so they crisscross and they're jumping back and forth in the line so they can come and pick up the kids earlier when they're supposed to do or they come and drop them off earlier than they're supposed to or they drop them off later than they're supposed to so all that is wiggling they're trying to erase the line erase the boundary so here you need to maintain the boundary of course how do you do this you have to make sure to let them know there's consequences for all this action you know so if they decide to come drop the kids off later than they're supposed to without telling you of course you have to let them know if you don't pick up the kids at this time uh, we have other plans. You might have to reschedule either you come the next day or you come the next week, weekend, something like that. Or if they make a habit of, you know, dropping the kids off while they're supposed to have possession of them. Let's say they pick them up on Friday and they're supposed to return them on Sunday, maybe Saturday evening. They're like, OK, I want to come drop them off. If you allow that to happen, that's exactly what is going to continue happening. So if that happens, you let them know that. You can't come and drop the kids off because they're supposed to be with you, you know, till Sunday. Or you can't come, you know, pick them up uh, earlier than you're supposed to because that's not how that works. You know, so you have to have sure there are some kind of consequences for that. You know, if they're late or consistently come pick up the kids later than every day, you know, they're supposed to every day. Maybe Fridays they come supposed to come pick them up at 2 p.m. And sometimes they show up at 4, sometimes they show up at 8, sometimes they show up at 6 and you don't say anything, that is your boundary that is running across right there. So you need to make sure there's consequences. Okay, if you don't come over here without letting me know you're running late, or if this is a constant thing you keep doing every you know, Friday, every Thursday, then we have to reschedule the you know, pickup time, change it to more time that is later so that I, it doesn't interrupt me doing my own stuff. Or if you miss it, then you have to come back the next day or forfeit for that weekend. There's got to be consequences to this because if not, they will be constantly trying to cross your boundaries. All right. Let's say you shouldn't. Um, and the fifth one is uh, you shouldn't have an issue with a new supply. You shouldn't have any issue with a new supply. And I'm saying this because the new supply, let's say they, the same scenario, you know, you come to pick up the kids or they come to drop off the kids and instead of them dropping off the kids, now the new supply is the one that's bringing the kids, you know, to drop them off or uh, you hand it over the, the new supply. You don't have any issue. You be polite uh, as, as you can. Put your game face on. Don't even show any kind of emotional or facial reaction or anything like that because you understand this is a setup obviously for the narcissist you know, to bring the new supply. So you don't engage the new supply in any negative way. Uh, you don't uh, you, you don't go get into it because that's exactly what narcissists want to do. You know, if they bring your kids over, they're the ones, you know, maybe the kids are younger, then they need to be walked out from the house or something like that. And they are the ones that <laughs> the narcissists have chosen to bring the kids out. Oh, you you know, you pick up the kids. Oh, oh cool. Thank you. Uh, they give you whatever bag or whatever it is that the kids came with. Oh, okay. Thanks. You take it and you walk away. There's no raising your eyebrows to touches your hairline. There's no like, you know, <laughs> rumping, wrinkling your face. There's no like, you know, making some kind of noise with your mouth. None of that. That is exactly what the narcissist is hoping to happen. He's hoping to you do that so that you engage a new supply and, you know, as a, you know, show that they're gonna you know that's gonna be entertaining to them that's supply right there you know so you remember this uh five things you know as you co-parent because you exposed to this you deal with this every day because the narcissist will keep trying to do any of this because they believe that once you're with them or you have children with them or their relationship with you that forever you're supposed to <laughs> belong with them so they try to while they're running the household over there wherever it is they're at they try to run yours as well so it's up to you to make sure to 
put all these things in place and know not to waste your time, not to waste your energy, trying to expect things or trying to do any kind of gestures or trying to reason out of nonsense because they will not understand. Make sure your boundary is set up in place. And of course, as long as the new supply is not hurting your children, you have absolutely no issue with a new supply. All right, guys, get your mind right and everything else will fall into place. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.